Kaspe, who is going to talk about process tags. Welcome. Hello. Thank you to the organizer of the uh, security room first, because uh, they, they accept my talk. Uh, thank you to you to be here. So I will speak about uh, PTX, that is process tag, so it's a code name, process tag. Uh, it's currently implemented as a module in the kernel, but it's not in the kernel because it's not on the tree of the kernel. So it's a Linux security module based uh, system. It uh, benefits from the stacking facility that is uh, implemented in uh, kernel since uh, Linux uh, kernel uh, 4.1 and uh, thanks to uh, uh, Casa Schoffler, that is the author of uh, SMAC security module. It allows to stack several uh, Linux security modules and it's an ongoing effort that is still uh, continuing to... Uh, uh, the, the idea is uh, just a dream as to be able to allow at the same time um, SL Linux, uh, Aparmar, Tomoyo and SMAC. So, we'll see. <coughs> Alors, why to tag? That's the question. But uh, I think that you see at the top the devices here are not tagged. So it's a shame because you cannot say if it's the fish soup that you like or this uh, fucking uh, bloody uh, corned beef that you dislike. Okay. Currently, uh, kernel process are uh, tagged. Any any process is tagged. That's the way that works. Uh, SL Linux, Smack, and some other. So currently, it already exists, but you cannot do it uh, by your own for your user space use. So that's the idea. How it works? Currently. <coughs> There is uh, two files by uh, task. This one that is uh, in the proc PID of the main process and at its ear, that's for the attributes. That's where you, we, you will find security attribute, but be aware, it will change soon. And here is a pseudo file uh, ptex that allows you to uh, converse with the module. So you can read it, you can write it, and it responds to inotif, that is a very cool thing. So how are PTAX? PTAX are just strings, you know? So, uh, no, the string cannot contain uh, a new line uh, character. So these are uh, just strings without uh, control character. You can insert spaces, but no tabs. So, no confusion. If you see a space, it's a space, not a tab. And it's a, a field structured, separated by columns. Okay? Then, how to use it? For example, you can here just use your shell to uh, show the content of the ptex. So it just shows you the tags of the process, one per line. You can grab it. There is also a kind of query language, so you can write to this same uh, file. You can write this. It means, <coughs> do you have this? And the answer is yes. And do you have this? And the answer is no. That's really simple. Okay. <coughs> it provides also a kind of wildcard query. So this is uh, structured as a hierarchy. Currently, you can add tags using this kind of uh, query language, so just a plus, plus this tag, okay, plus this tag, and at the end, you get 
the process tagged. Okay. Uh, oh, yes. A side note. The tags are returned sorted. That's cool. Thank you. <coughs> okay. Another aspect is tags can have value. So here you say give the value simple to the test tags. But the, the tag have to exist before. Okay? You can remove the value of a tag. That is not exactly the same that setting the value equal nothing. Because the value equal nothing is the value nothing. But not having a value is not having the value nothing. Okay? Seems reasonable. <coughs> uh, and you can also remove tags. That's cool. This kind of query language is very easy to learn. So remove test and remove arbiter. At the end, it's removed. OK. Now, forking, executing. When you fork, you the process keeps its tag. So the child process has the same tags than the parent process. When you exec, the tags that are not having the keep flag that is shown here as a hat sign, the tags that, are not pref uh, that do not have the keep flag are removed and only uh, the tags that must be kept are kept. That's cool and efficient. So now let's go in uh, how it works when you have to do something with keep flags. So here is nothing, here is a tag and the tag with the keep flags. So the, the rows here uh, are not so complicated, but I will not enter in that. So what is important is to know that you can set the keep flag, remove the keep flag, create the tag. It's, it's logic, OK? Nothing uh, really ex extraordinary. Uh, it works. Mm, now, about uh, the star, that is the pattern you, you are matching something. It also works for removing, but also here yeah, that is special for adding keep uh, flag. Okay, we are in the room of security and we have not talked about security currently. So why, why is it here in the room of security? It's because this is uh, related to processes. So you, you want to tag the process. For what reason, I don't know. But if anyone can do that, it's just a nightmare. So there are rules that tell you what you can do. So the rules are very easy. If you are a kernel process or a kernel thread, you can do anyone, anything that you want. But it's not intended to be used by kernel process or kernel threads. Uh, it's unrelated. There is no internal API. It's only user space uh, tagging. So you should have the uh, capability of administrating mandatory access control. It's, I, I, maybe someone will uh, a day say, OK, can we create a new capability? No, I, I used what existed. So there is a, a way of do, dealing without capabilities is to use the prefix ptex on tags. So if a process has special tagging, that means starting with ptex, it can add, it can sub, it can set, it can also manage other processes. So these are the basic actions that you can perform. Adding a tag, removing a tag, setting the value of a tag, uh, changing the tags of another process. So 
here are some examples. It means, okay, this one can remove any tag of itself and it cannot remove the tags starting with p tags. That's a, a, another security uh, aspect is that to remove tags with p tags, you must have uh, this. Oh, no, it's not here. It's here because here I also explained it. You, you must have this kind of tag telling th that you can add p tags. It's, it's a security. It's a kind of prefix language, not so hard to understand, but efficient. So here are examples of use case, the launcher use case. Okay, the launcher here has some uh, tags that allows him to create new tags for the, the launched process. Then it drops its privileges and at the end, it execs uh, for the processes it has to launch and the uh, process is now tagged with what the launcher expects to give. Here is two paths because in the fact, you know, it's not uh, mandatory to use this to remove the privilege. But you have to, to have privilege before. So it's the issue with the launcher. A launcher has to be privileged and to remove and drop its privilege. So that's, that's an issue with launcher use case. It was designed at first to give permissions to client. So the client has a tag. The tag is a kind of permission. The server can query what permission is. Does this process as this tag? Yes, OK, I will process. There is, uh, for example, the identity use case. This client query an identity to a server. The server gives the identity to the client. The client do something, forks, execs, etc. Any process it created has the identity uh, negotiated here. The monitor use case is, can be to, to tag process or this one. To, and uh, also here, 34%, it's not good, but a good value. Uh, I have to monitor it, okay. And many more use cases. That's open to your in imagination. Um, okay, it handles namespace because I had a discussion with Sergeline about it and it seems to be a, a very good idea to have namespace. So it's already in. When you create a user namespace, you get the user ID zero and all the capabilities, and you can redesign all your system. But at the ground, it's managed. OK. Uh, hello, some issues. So uh, latest version of uh, v of the kernel do not more allows to write this kind of uh, files. So there was a very interesting debate on the mailing list. Uh, also, the files in this uh, pseudo file system are restricted in, uh, in use case, so you cannot write so many things. It's limited in size, etc. So another critic is that PID uh, can be faked. Okay. Uh, and currently, uh, the thread are uh, like process, so they receive an, a new identity, and they will uh, be. <coughs> uh, they can have different tags. It's not a good idea. I think we have to manage process uh, threads of the same process to a same uh, space of tags. And uh, there also, also we have to, to, to shift from the create structure to the task structure, but it's uh, an ongoing effort inside the kernel and the security module that's uh, also carried by uh, um, the, the writer of Tomoyo. I, I don't remember its name, Nick. 
Okay, so the next version will uh, use uh, something that I'm developing that is the uh, process unique identifier with uh, its uh, file system that will uh, not be restricted. Uh, there will be a new get uh, capabilities and and we will uh, share the same text for all threads of a process. So it's available currently. There is a user library that you can find here uh, that integrates uh, query language, etc. It's a facility. The, the, the H file is here, so it's easy to read, and uh, description is here. You can see it. If you want to check it and use it in your project, there exist uh, layers for Yocto already existing. And if you have questions, you can ask me. That's all. I already uh, uploaded the uh, slides, and it's up to you. Thank you. Thank you, Jose. And we have time for questions. Anyone? Raise your hand. Thanks. Uh, you said that you can fake a PID. How do you do that? Uh, I never did that, and uh, people say me uh, not not the first time that uh, you can fake it. And it's true because you can make sleep a process, create process until you get the right PID and wake up the process, and the process just awake and say, "Okay, hey, that's you." No, no, <laughs> it's not him. Okay, so you're talking about the kernel space when you dequeue your process from the PID list, but not from the shadow queue, right? Uh, can you repeat because I have a... Uh, do you talk about the queues in the kernel when you can remove the process from the process list, but not from the kernel queue where the process are scheduled? It's about removing some of the process mm, mm, mm. structure. Um, it's, I, I didn't check this, this part. So okay. Thank you for pointing me this out. Okay, okay thanks. Mm. More questions? So would there be an automated way to notify me if, I, if my Firefox or my uh, mail server uh, sponsor a shell or something like that? Sponsor? Yeah, let, let, let's say, okay, I have these tags and then some a process pops up which shouldn't have a tag where, from a privileged process. Would this be possible with this framework? Uh, I really don't understand the, the question. Sorry. <laughs> Uh, some, uh, ex uh, let's say someone exploited my server and then he says, okay, I, may, uh, I open netcat reverse shell. And I want to see this automatically. automatically. So could I say, okay, there's a new pro uh, netcat process or any other binary and um, makes an internet connection and I see, okay, this shouldn't be uh, opened by my postfix. Um. Currently, it has to be implemented. I, I don't know if it is the good framework for doing this thing. But if it is the good framework, you know it's a mediation. So the, the tag uh, is a, a kind of telling to the process that will allow or not the connection if the client has a right or not. Uh, maybe, but I don't think it's really the good uh, framework. OK, thanks. We have another question up here. Can you pass the mic back? So can you t talk about some interesting use case that, they, that you do have in mind? So what's some wor real world application that you have? OK. Uh, for me, I, I came uh, here. Um, that's, that's not the first time that, that I'm here in security room. Two, two years ago, I spoke about a launcher, a secure launcher. So the secure launcher was the, my primary concern. It was uh, a study research, research. So it has here the 
here is the, the, the process of the launcher. Okay. You give some permission you, to a process, and the, the, it will follow the process and its child. And the, there is, ah, I, I don't see another way to, to, to doing that. So I, what I presented two years ago was a, a use of um, Fuse. I used a uh, Fuse file system to, f to mimic uh, PROC PID uh, file system to, to, to do that thing. It, it was a little bit different because uh, I used file names and uh, uh, directory entries. Okay. So here is currently in what I. I the use I had, and uh, it's, I, I, I'm still uh, thinking about that. Will it be used this way or not? But in fact, for me, it was more interesting to have a such uh, framework, a such tool, because it's more than just that. It can be more. And uh, on, on the... Uh, Linux uh, mailing list, uh, Kaza Schoffler pro proposed to, to use it, for example, to store, uh, so he spoke about the monitoring use case, uh, where, where, where is it? Monitoring use case, where uh, some processes are still monitoring system and get advertising from alerts, etc. and so checks this one, maybe this one, no, etc. and at the end can uh, give values. It, 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 has, it may have values on a long-term uh, system. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, more questions? Raise your hand. Um, okay, so this might be a noob question, but um, I know systemd and SC Linux uses uh, tagging, like basically tags the process. What I don't understand is, um, is this the same system or it's built, it's basically a set of uh, a language on top of it? Like, I don't understand the difference between the tagging in systemd and SC Linux and this. Thank you. Yeah. Um, SC Linux. Uh, use a, a tag, its tag, that's the process tag that you can read at a, uh, tuk, 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 tuk. Okay, here you have for a, a process, you replace here p tags with current and you get the, the, the identity of the process from as a Linux uh, point of view. Okay, it may change in future, but that currently is current, okay? That's the same for SMAC. So it's a tag that is attached to processes and task structure uh, by the Linux security mo uh, module framework. So it's attached to the credential and it's dedicated to li S Linux. So it's in kernel, it's made inside and used inside. Uh, it check any file access, any uh, IPC, anything is checked against this tag that is the security tag. Okay. Here we are speaking of something that you can use as at the user level. It's not dedicated to S.